So how can you grow your business through your hobbies? Man, it's probably one of the most fun ways to grow your business. And you know, we all want to do our hobbies more. You know, one time I ran into an old friend of mine that was in the insurance business and I said, I said, man, when are you going to retire? He said, Beach, I've been retired for 20 years. And I said, no, you haven't. He said, yes, I have. I changed my mindset. And I said, what do you mean you changed your mindset? He said, I used to work so that I could go play. Now I play so that I can work. He said, I figured out if I did more fun stuff, then I get to spend more time with my friends and the potential customers that I want to do business with. I get to develop deeper, stronger relationships with them. And so now they just call me or I've got a half of them trained to call my assistant. And so now I'm out playing all the time. It's actually my marketing strategy is to play, not to go to work so that I can play. And so I got to thinking about that. And I go, golly, I need to figure out a way to incorporate that. And I said, if I've got somebody in my office that can help me with that, a strong assistant, uh, administrative person, sales assistant type person that really knows my business, knows some of the people that I associate with, I can do that. And so what you can start thinking about is if you really are in the relationship referral based business, and you want to really grow that, which I do. If you go play golf with somebody, if you go ride motorcycles with somebody, if you go fishing with somebody, you're going to get to spend hours with them. That is way more effective than going to have a cup of coffee. So, you know, the new thing is you go have a cup of coffee because with somebody you don't know because they know that if they don't like you, they can bail in 15 or 20 or 30 minutes. It can be short. A lunch is a little bit more of a commitment. A dinner is a way bigger commitment. So that's why everybody's doing coffee because they're meeting with people they don't know and they don't, don't know if they want to hang out with you. But if you can do that, you go have a cup of coffee and you like that person, then invite them to go do something. Part of the thing is, is to figure out what they like to do. So it's not always easy to match your favorite hobby with their favorite hobby, but you'll find there are other things in between. They may like music. Maybe you buy tickets to a concert. They may like car racing. Maybe you take them to a car race. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. So what I've done in my life is I start trying to, as I meet people, I start trying to find things that they like to do that I like to do, and I try to hook those things up so that I can go spend a long period of time with that person, really getting to know them deeper, having a better relationship with them. And I find that if I do that, my business is stronger over a longer period of time. And if I screw up because I have a relationship, they're not gonna fire me immediately. They know that I'm trying to do the right thing. So take your hobbies and do more of it. Don't do less of it. Get people to go with you and participate in fun stuff. Do as much of that as you possibly can. And I think you'll find that you'll not only have more fun in business, but you'll meet the people that'll be stronger, deeper customers for you over the life of your business. So you know, hobbies are one of the best ways to create deep relationships. And relationships, <clears throat> excuse me, are what help you really grow your business. Deeper relationships, solid relationships. So use your hobbies and your customers' hobbies. Try to figure out a way that you can spend longer periods of time with them to get to know them better. And if relationship building is important to you and referral-based business is important to you, check out my other YouTube videos here on other great ideas on how to build deeper relationships with your customers.